uh, patients are losing their patients. So two spellings, patients are losing their patients. Seven ways healthcare consumers are demanding more. Um, this is an article written by Barbara Smith, a partner in uh, Peregrine Consulting Partners. And um, I think it's just spot on. I'll go quickly. Spot on as she um, draws the analogy between uh, entering into the healthcare environment from a patient perspective and, um, uh, in her case, um, a sporting event and everything surrounding a sporting event from a customer friendly perspective. But of the seven areas, if I can just highlight them efficient Please. patient workflow, we, you know, patient workflow, we talked about clinicians' workflow, right? But patients' workflow or flow, ease in scheduling. Ease of access, transportation, parking, and electronic access, which having worked in some very um, congested urban environments, I get that one fully. Um, the fourth one is patient experience with wait times and other annoyances. Uh, fifth one is transparency and pricing. Uh, she's got an interesting analogy there about dropping off your car. You wouldn't drop your car off for service if you didn't know what you were getting into, right? What's it going to cost me? Yep. Uh, and quality metrics is six. Um, she points out you don't go to a restaurant probably now without checking a Yelp review, right? So what do you know about the organization that's going to be doing care? And her last one is about free the report, which has to do with getting um, results to patients and in a timely manner. Uh, and, you know, I think as I, as I read this article, what I was thinking, Bill, is, you know, I think CIOs, all of us know we need to be doing this, and we're hearing it a lot from the executives uh, in the C-suite. The question is how? How do, how do CIOs address it, and where do they start? So I'll throw that. I've got some thoughts on that. I'll throw that to you. Wow, I'm, I'm being asked the question. Um, you know, it's interesting, because <laughs> I agree with you. I think this is spot on. Uh, patient workflow, scheduling, uh, ease of access, ex uh, uh, wait times, other annoyances uh, experienced. Transparency and pricing, quality metrics, and, and uh, access to the report and the data. These are, these are it, it's a pretty good, um, and I, I, how would I start? I'd start by uh, creating that, uh, again, I keep saying creating the narrative, but creating the story that the organization can sort of to, to rally around. I find that um, people don't rally around PowerPoints, they rally around stories. And to the, to the extent that you can start collecting stories uh, good, bad, or indifferent from your patients that talk about their experience in terms of work workflow. We've been asked this question 10 times. We've been bounced around or somebody with a chronic condition that, you know, whatever. I, the organization can respond to that. They can look at it and go, yeah, that shouldn't be true of our organization. I don't want that to be true of our organization. And then they can mobilize around it. So I, I always start uh, with the story. The scheduling one sort of cracks me up. My story around that is we we had, and I've shared this before, in our uh, our portal, we had this list of things and we had, you know, the medical record was number one and scheduling was like number six. And when we talked to the patients, scheduling was number one. Scheduling is so difficult. Uh, scheduling, referrals, and, and that whole process. Um, and what all we did, all we had to do was talk to patients. They gave us the list and we said, as much as the internal anecdotal was, no, no, this is the most important thing. We're like, no, look, we talked to, we, we actually conducted a study. We talked to a thousand patients and this is what they're telling us is most important to them. So no one in the organization can now create a false narrative that says, no, no, they care more about this medical record. No, no, what they care about is access, scheduling, work. They really do care about these things. And I think, I think she is, uh, spot on on this.